Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Hadoop. In today's tutorial we will see more details about HDFS service in the Hadoop. In order to see the more details we have logged into the Ambari console and we can see there is various options available as a tab. The options are dashboard, services, host, alerts and admin. Out of those options, we, we need to go to the services section and select the HDFS service. Once you select that, you will first see the summary section. In the summary section, you will see what is the name node, what is S name node, what is data nodes, etc. and the other relevant properties. Even if you go a little below, you can see the various matrices about this HDFS service. The first matrix is name node garbage collector count or GC, GC time, GC count and name node connection load. Then we have the name node heap. Then also we have the host load and the other matrices. If you go some more little below you can have the more or you can add the more matrix also as per your business requirement or as per your need. So this is called as a summary section of the Harup uh, uh, HDFS service then we have the heat map heat map actually give us on each node how much memory is utilized or how much what is the performance of performance on the each node if you want to check any particular matrix you can go and select whether you want hdfs bytes written that matrix or if you want data node process disk io utilization or the memory commit memory use collection time so these are the matrices available for the HDFS, particularly for the heat maps. Then we have the next section called as a configuration section that is configs tab. Here you can configure the various properties related to the HDFS service. The next thing is quick links. So this quick links, if you see now, we can see the name node UI, name node logs, name node JMX, and the thread stacks. This quick link changes as you change the your service. Suppose for now if I change the hive and let's see what are the quick links available for the hives. For now for the hives there is no quick links. Let's try for the pig. Pig also don't have. Let's try for the yarn. Looks like for the yarn we have the services, the quick links. So and these quick links are resource manager resource manager U UI and logs then we have the resource manager JMX and thread styles but for the HDFS those are the different quick links so let's cl click one of the quick link and that is name node UI so it will one, open one more browser and it will give us a brief idea of the readable information about that particular node HDFS node this is Hadoop overview this is the node name which is active currently then we have the summary corresponding to that node we can go a little bit down and we can see what is the pool size what is DFS remaining what are the live nodes how many live, live nodes are available and some name node general status also we have the name node storage what is the storage location so these are the properties we can see using the UI for the HDFS Similarly, we have the other tabs in this section like name nodes, what is the capacity, how much it is used, what is the admin state, is it in service or it is decommissioned, last connected, non-DFS use, remaining block, block pool use, how much pool size is used, that is currently it is 0.46%, failed or file uh, fault volume and the version. We have the other properties also like if it is decommissioned the when who did the decommission um, which node got decommissioned. Then the data node volume failures snapshot if you have taken any then we have startup process so these are the startup process per currently all are the 100% completion. Utilities we have the browser file system and the we can browse the logs also that is the all the properties related to the name node 
Similarly, we can go back and click on the other important links such as the name node logs. You can see the name node logs here. So logs available in this location. So if you want to see the HDFS related logs, you can come here and check those logs. Now if you want to see the JMX, that is the it's a JMS service which is have this kind of schema. So you can have that access as well. You can use that JMX if you're using the messaging in your system using HDFS. Along with that, in the service action, you can see there is various options available. You can start the HDFS service, you can stop, you can restart all the HDFS services, restart data node, then run the service check, turn on maintenance mode. We'll see all this property in detail as we go forward on the Hadoop sessions. Rebalance HDFS, download config, client configs. So these are the property files associated only with the HDFS service. If you want to go get this service action, you have to choose the particular service. For example, if I choose the map reduce, you will get the corresponding actions. So these are the currently available actions for the map reduce. But we are more considered on HDFS. So in the HDFS, we saw the summary section. We can see the various options we have. We have the matrices. We saw the heat maps with the corresponding matrices. We have we have seen just overview of the configs. Then we saw the quick links, what the importance of quick links and how can you go there. Then we have the what are the actions we can do on the HDFS service. So this is just overview about the HDFS. In upcoming session, we'll see how to edit this properties file and how to use this and download this properties file as per our needs. I hope this video will help you to understand the HDFS service configuration and overview related activities. Thank you for watching the video and have a nice time.